Uh, we'll come to, we'll put out some technical levels, etc. in a bit, but let's welcome in Amit Jaiswani, founder and CIO at Stallion Asset, who is with us. Amit, good to have you with us here. Thank you very much. Uh, so, you know, just to understand what the market is smelling, is it smelling something? Is it, conf is it there's some confusion? Air of the budget, there is the FOMC. What are you picking up really? What, what, uh, uh, what's going on? Very near term. Hi, Prashant. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Uh, this is just normal 1% plus minus. We don't even have a view. We don't even uh, see like what is happening uh, so so closely. Uh, but why was the market up 2% yesterday? That remains a suspense. And why is market down today? 1% also remains a suspense. So these are very random moves in nature. Uh, I don't see any uh, material. But of course, uh, we, we do believe that we have entered a phase of volatility expansion. And uh, we all investors, traders, uh, should be prepared for a uh, very high volatility for entire 2024. It's not going to be like 2023, which was like a straight line move. Uh, 2024 is going to be way more volatile. Mm. Any big changes that you've made in the last one month, Amit, to your portfolio uh, in terms of additions, deletions, you know, weighted changes? So, Rima, we've uh, added... Uh, uh, Polycab lately, we sold Polycab and once the income tax uh, news came, the first time when it got raided and uh, etc. This is before the PIB uh, press release got issued. We had got the weights down and we have added Polycab back to our portfolio and it's our number one position as of today. So it's uh, about seven and a half, eight percent of our portfolio. So that is, uh, so it's at 65,000 crores market cap. We expect 1,800 crores of profit this year. Uh, we expect 2,300 crores of profit next year. So it's at 28 times FY25. And what we've seen, Rima, is that people forget uh, markets have a very uh, short-term memory. Uh, and like Ratna money had an income tax rate similar to this, 400 crores of unaccounted uh, revenues got found. And the stock, uh, this happened in 2021 November. Uh, the stock stock has moved up three times from there. So, uh, of course, that's a, there's a risk involved uh, in, in the polycap trade. But uh, if we go right, uh, we should double our money in next one year. Okay, all right. So Hi, Amit. That is a real... Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, com complete your point, Amit. So, yeah, so, so there's a risk involved. We know the bottom, the panic bottom of the trade was 3850. Uh, if it reaches there, we'll see what to do. But uh, uh, right now, we believe that Q4, even if you see what peers are doing, uh, Nigel, uh, be it the RR Kabil, the growth was 11% yesterday. Uh, KEI growth was 15%. And Polycap was not working for last eight, nine days uh, this quarter. Yet the growth was 17%. Typically, Q2 is better. Uh, the analysts are expecting 1,800 crores packed this year. Uh, we expect 1,850 crores, but uh, this the Q4 should be a very, very big quarter, which is typically the best quarter for Polycap, and Polycap should be back to the 30% uh, volume growth kind of numbers which they are doing. So All right. uh, if, if we go right, we should make uh, a lot of money. If we go wrong, uh, we'll lose some money and move ahead. Okay, all right. Uh, Amit, uh, you know, the last time you joined us as well, you were talking about a growth company. You mentioned uh, JTL that you all had gotten at around 200. And you said you'll had preference on that one rather than APL Apollo. And, you know, that's done pretty well for you all. I'm looking at the footwear space. I know there are other big names in there, like Metro. But you have gone in and you have bought uh, Red Tape, I believe, as part of your portfolio. Tell us the rationale out there. Uh, so, Nigel, uh, Red Tape, if you see the numbers yesterday, the growth was 29%. We bought Red Tape during the Mirza D merger, uh, but uh, we chase growth. We want companies who can grow faster than the industry. If you see the last 10 years, uh, while a lot of stories have been said about Relaxo, the Relaxo growth rate for last 10 years has been 11% CAGR. And yet, Relaxo gets 100 PE multiple. The Metro also gets closer to 90 PE multiple. The growth this quarter was just 6%. Uh, we have bought red tape in our portfolio. We had positions at 3,000 crores market cap, but nothing changes at 8,000 crores market cap as well. Uh, uh, as of now, uh, red tape trades at about 45 times uh, FY24 and about 30 times FY25, um, 33 times FY25. So the red tape should do 250 crores of profit. This is one 
company, if you see data pre-demerger, uh, the company, uh, this was part of Mirza and it got demerged out of Mirza. Uh, when it was part of Mirza, it was growing at about 25-30% for last decade. And shoe companies do get very high uh, multiples. Uh, the ROCs of red tape is around 40%. Uh, when you get 30%, 25-30% 30 growth, 40% ROC, 30 times one year forward, uh, we typically bet large and it is about 6% of our portfolio as of today. So red tape mm. is gaining market share from all other players. Look at Bata. Never, I've not seen only growth for a very long time. I look at Relaxo, very weak numbers all the time. You want a leader. Campus last quarter growth was minus 22%. So even when the industry is not doing well, you want to be with the guy who's gaining market share quarter over quarter, reinvesting capital at 40% ROICs. And our bet is on red tape. Okay, so those are some of the consumer names and the thought process behind them. Amit, hi, good afternoon. When I'm looking at the holdings uh, for the Stallion Asset Core Fund, uh, and here I see that financial services is still the lion's share of it, right? Almost 34% of the fund is financial services. So, you know, uh, what what would be the, the key holdings over here? And what's your thought now, given all of this uncertainty and this whole volatility, volatility around uh, the larger private banks? Actually, our uh, lending businesses that we have in our portfolio would be about 11-12%. Capital market would be 15% of the portfolio. And then we have Policy Bazaar, uh, which is playing the insurance. Uh, Policy Bazaar has got results today. Uh, we might lose or make 5-10% uh, tomorrow. I don't know. but uh, uh, So that is how our financial... Our financial services, out of the 34%, uh, uh, our lending would be about 11%, 11-12%. 11 uh, capital market would be about 15% and that insurance player policy bazaar would be another 6% of the portfolio. So that is also, we don't have too much exposure to uh, uh, the lending business. Even the lenders that we have, uh, like uh, Five Star or Bajaj Finance, where we are losing a lot of money today, or uh, Arman Finance, they're all growing at 30% plus. Uh, Five Star grows at 44%. And, uh, Arman goes at 50%. So in lending, we don't like lending as a business model. The only reason why, so we will never buy a lender if we have 15% growth. The only reason why we buy a lender is if we see extraordinary growth of 30, 40%. Uh, I will never buy a leveraged business for 15% growth. Okay, all right. Uh, Amit, uh, you know, you seem to have this contra way of investing as well, uh, like Polycap, right? Uh, you're going in there, giving it a shot. You believe the business is good. Angel one, that's the one that that's a stock I think you'll got in early. If I'm not mistaken, you'll got out as well, but it's still part of your portfolio, so you'll have gotten in. Now the numbers, uh, you know, you would be saying that there's some kind of a miss here and there, but the stock corrected close to 15% post its numbers. Did you all add more? What is the position currently on Angel One? So we were we initially bought Angel at about from 1600 to 1800. We were buying aggressively. Uh, we sold a decent size. Angel at 35, 3600. And now lately we've gotten back. So we keep increasing, decreasing our weights. Uh, we believe the only reason Angel added 25 lakh customers in last one quarter. Uh, 25 lakh. IFL SEC added 50,000 customers. I'm just giving you context. Uh, five pesa lost market share. So there was one player, uh, the pat of Angel, what markets were estimating was about uh, 320, 330 crores because they added a lot of clients. Uh, when you add about 25 lakh clients, you have to pay broadly 650 per client. So they invested about 160, 170 crores a quarter on client acquisition. Uh, of course, as soon as the client gets acquired, doesn't mean they start trading. Um, I, I expect uh, on Feb 5th, uh, based on data of NCBSC, uh, MCX and cash market volumes, uh, when the data on the 5th of uh, Feb comes out, uh, Angel gives out monthly uh, volumes of uh, uh, number of trades that that uh, should be up 65 percent uh, year over year and we believe it's a real challenger to zero down uh, uh, last this year angel should do about 1150 crores of profit next year we expect angel to do about 1600 crores of profit right now market cap is about 24,000 crores so we are buying angel at uh, 15 times fi 25 
Uh, hopefully we make money. I don't know what will happen, but uh, we keep tracking execution till the time Angel is gaining market share. It's about 28% market share of derivatives market, 16% market share of cash market. You want a leader who's gaining market share. See, there is no other player who's gaining market share at the pace at which Angel is doing. And once you get that pattern, uh, we of course keep doing up and down uh, because we have to make money for our clients and we have to manage their risk also. The risk reward as the stock keeps going higher keeps changing and we have to make changes to our position sizing. But right now uh, at 2900, at 3200, 3100, we we kept adding and increasing waves of Angel. So Angel is uh, a part of our portfolio and uh, I hope uh, uh, when we see the next quarter, hopefully it makes a new high. It will cross 38, 3900. That is what I think i'm a dreamer i think they're very big and i'm always optimistic about my positions no you have to be right i mean <laughs> uh, that's very well put and explained i mean uh, yeah and uh, contender to zero the, i mean you could say grow is also a contender but an unprofitable contender uh, uh, of course angel makes a lot of money uh, as you said uh, so that's uh, that's a different than a key one uh, what about the adani group stocks i mean i'm just sort of throwing that at you have you looked at any of them uh, you know, again, uh, there is that uh, contrarian aspect which may come. None of the institutional uh, fund managers really own it. Uh, one of one or two here or there. Uh, you know, the, the, this uh, this growth visibility in the areas that they're focused on in a big way over the num over the next number of years. All these other issues, investigations, everything is behind. Uh, have you looked at it? Have you done any work on it? The problem, uh, Prashant, is that we just looked at it. We never pressed the button, so <laughs> so uh, we've uh, not, we've never been. Uh, unfortunately, I should say, we've never held uh, Adani Group stocks in our portfolio. Uh, the market caps, the P is. Uh, uh, while they, they keep gaining market share, they are number one executors, I should tell you. Uh, but uh, we don't understand what is margin of safety here. And when we don't understand uh, what is margin of safety, we, we find it very, very, very difficult. Uh, and they've just started doing con calls last quarter. So now we'll start getting uh, more clarity on, uh, for most companies, uh, they've started con calls last quarter. Now we'll try to understand the business better because uh, reading an annual report once a year, uh, doesn't, uh, but the group is already 24 lakh crores. Now you have to, so the big money got made when the group was 2 lakh crores, one and a half, two years back to 24 lakh crores. And now you have to really work hard to make money uh, in Adani. So Adani will not have that same kind of move what it had in the last five years. Uh, we, we uh, And there are certain people in my team who are working to find the next Adani. So we are working on B2G companies, but we've not made any investments yet. And we find very, very difficult uh, to understand uh, the next quarter uh, uh, or the next six months in uh, uh, in the Adani Group uh, companies, but they are great executors. When you look at it as a picture for five ten years, you look you, you be awed by the kind of scale up that Adani does. The, at the price at which they acquire companies, it's unbelievable. So uh, they're great executors. Just that we are not uh, we've not been able to be so smart to acquire them at cheap prices. All right, uh, Amit, we'll leave it there. Uh, great conversation as always. Thank you very much for joining us uh, with that perspective on a number of businesses, number of stocks, uh, and uh, how you're thinking about the market as well. Where are the days low? Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all our top stories and news updates, follow us on our social media platforms.